Good morning, everyone. I'm Ariane Arambiro with your FastCast digital headlines for this Thursday. Let's take a look at today's top stories that we're following. Last night, right here in Anchorage, two women made history in an incredible display of endurance and courage. Shannon Titzel and Jordan Iverson braved the frigid waters of Cook Inlet, becoming the first women to make the trip across with no wetsuits, just swimsuits and goggles. It took the pair just an hour and 36 minutes to make it the six miles from Port McKenzie to Anchorage across the inlet. The women have been preparing to swim for six months, enduring ice cold baths and planning their route. Dozens showed up to cheer for the women, many saying they wanted to watch history in action. Well, I came out to see the women swim, and the last person that did it was male, and it's two females, and I was like, I gotta go see the women swim. And it's a historical moment, really, because it's not been done in so many years, and only one other person did it. And it, those, those waters are treacherous. Was it harder or easier than you thought it was going to be? Harder. A little bit harder. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Not what I anticipated it to be, but the water was significantly warmer than I also thought okay. it would be. We were preparing for about 54 degrees. Right. And just based off the feel, I think it was probably 57 or the only other people to make the swim were two male swimmers who also took around 90 minutes back in the 1930s. And the South Yukon Highway remains closed today after a rock slide. Crews have been working to clear the road and will continue their efforts today. According to Yukon Public Works, the rock slide is just past the campground to Fraser in British Columbia. That's between markers 106 and 24. Crews hope to have one lane open tomorrow. The lower numbers kind of on the Sunday, Monday. The higher numbers on your Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's municipal traffic engineer Brad Coy speaking on the downtown Anchorage pilot project that put protected bike lanes onto a busy street. And the Muni is about halfway through the controversial project and says radar and traffic cameras counting travelers. It puts preliminary data at 80 to 150 bikes using the lane daily. The project was funded with a $1 million grant from the federal government to see whether bike lanes are a good option for Anchorage and try to make residents less dependent on motorized vehicles. You can still comment on the project on the MOA website. The bike lanes will be removed come fall when data and feedback on them will be analyzed more thoroughly to figure out if they should be permanent. And Jay Bear lost one third of its parking for Arctic Thunder attendees due to the runway extension project, but that did not stop the community from showing up. Officials estimate over the two day event, more than 260,000 people enjoyed the air show. That's 160,000 more that attended Arctic Thunder in 2022. Now they speculate the nice weather we had might have had something to do with the increase in attendance as two years ago, it was cloudy, a little bit of rain and about 10 degrees cooler. Those are your fast cast digital headlines for this Thursday. I'm Ariane Arambiro. Have a great day and thanks for watching.